It's a huge pleasure to have uh, Prem Ravats on the show this morning. He's been uh, traveling and speaking to audiences about peace since he was a child. And he also said that um, we all know what the symptoms look like of this disease. He said greed, war, selfishness, violence, and an increasing loss of trust. Peace is a real thing. Prem Ravats is with us. Good morning to you, sir. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. You know, uh, I know very few people that can engage an audience that, like you can. Um, I watched the, uh, just yesterday, I, w- I was watching the Boston, Massachusetts chat. And you had profound things to say. And I think uh, one of the most important things that I took from you is that we need to find out what makes us happy. Yes. And what makes us all happy is the same thing, is it? Yes, it is. It's a fundamental need. Peace is not a luxury. And peace is not a word. In fact, peace is a feeling. And like hunger, like we need to sleep, like we need to eat, like we need to drink water, like we need to breathe air, we actually need peace in our lives. Because without that peace, our functioning breaks down. Our basic thinking breaks down. Our uh, perceptions break down. And we no longer can function as a human being properly. And this is why peace is important in this world. Now, I can ask you, people will say to you, yeah, but when I'm wealthy, when I have a plane, my own plane, when I have a Lamborghini, I'll be happy. I know that for a fact. What do you you say to people like that? You can have all of that. But first of all, you have to have peace. To me, it's like this. Imagine your Lamborghini, your Ferrari, your airplane to be zeros. And you are one. If you place zeros in front of one, one will remain one, and you can have as many zeros as you want, and nothing happens. <laughs> Take one and put that first, and then put a zero. Now you've got 10, mm. and then you've got 100, and then you've got 1,000, and you've got 10,000 and 100,000. So which one do you put first? Wow. They're putting their ambitions first, but not themselves. I'm saying put yourself in first, and then your ambitions. Mm. Now, you come to us, I said to you earlier, in a very interesting time in the history of our country, and you said you've been here before, and it was, it's always interesting times. But it seems as if, as a society, as South Africans, we're falling apart. It seems as if everyone is at one another's throat. So that's the perception, at least. And there's all these conflicts going on, and all these, uh, there's a lot of intolerance. So we said, we said to Prem Ravats, and before we get back to you about this, we, we sat you down next door in one of the studios, and we said, what is your message to South Africans? Uh, and, and this is what, what uh, Prem had to say. Listen to this, and then we'll, we'll pick up the discussion where we left off. At this point in time, where they, what I see is that a lot of the people know what they don't want, but they're not so clear on exactly what they do want. And when you have that kind of a situation, there is a lot of debate and a lot of bickering. And there is a difference in a debate and bickering. Bickering is just to be different than if somebody said, let's go left, somebody says, no, let's go right. But a debate is a systematic thought process in which people come together because they know what they want and they want to achieve it. And this is what they debate. So really what I see is the unity that is required to go forward because forgiveness is not actually accepting all the bad that has happened. You cannot do that. And a lot of people think that's what forgiveness is. But forgiveness is actually deciding that you want to move forward and you do not want to be victimized was what whatever was happening in the past. Jacaranda FM.